Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with my spring essentials video. Since the spring seems to have come early here where I live, it has been in the 70s every single day for the last week and a half or so and I'm absolutely loving it and enjoying the weather and I thought this would be a great time to kind of clean out my closet and get rid of a few things, donate a few things and uh, add a few things and kind of figure out my spring wardrobe and I was getting just so excited about spring that I thought that I, that now would be a good time to do an essentials video and kind of show you some of the things that um, are typically what I kind of change out in the springtime and some of the things that I'm loving and cannot wait to start using. So I'm going to start with some skincare since in the spring I kind of switch up my skincare routine a bit. Um, I typically will go through kind of one round of a skincare line and then um, change up to something else just to give my skin a little bit of a change and a little bit of a break and in the summer and spring um, I tend to go for kind of lighter formulas where in the winter I kind of go for heavier more um, I guess moisturizing heavy moisture formulas and so the skincare that I just purchased is from Bobbi Brown and it's a line that I had tried last year in the spring and really enjoyed so I thought I'd try it again and it's from the extra brightening line and so the first product I have here is the Bobbi Brown extra light moisture lotion or the advanced moisture lotion and this is actually really a toner it's a liquid product that I use just on a cotton ball and apply it to my face after I have cleansed my face and to cleanse I kind of just um, year-round use the Bobbi Brown cleansing oil or my Cetaphil um, I think it's just called the gentle cleansing um, lotion but from, it's the general Cetaphil one, um, but I enjoy using this kind of right after that to kind of clear my pores and um, the extra bright line is actually great for reducing discoloration on your skin and kind of getting rid of any redness and just making your skin clear and bright and that's why I love it. So um, that is the first product that I bought. And then the second item is the extra bright um, advanced serum and I love using this. This is a great serum to give your skin a little boost of radiance and um, um, to make your skin extra bright and to really reduce any kind of discoloration you may have going on on your skin. So really enjoy using um, this one and I put that just before I apply my moisturizer and so I have the moisturizing um, extra bright advanced moisture cream which comes in this little pot here and this is a very kind of thick nourishing cream. I'm going to take the little top off so you can see. Um, yeah, when I turn it sideways, it doesn't even move. So it's a thick cream, but it doesn't really go on very heavy. It's pretty light, I would say. Um, in the summertime, I would go for something even a bit lighter than this, but um, I really just enjoy how these products work together and they really do make a difference in my skin. So I'm excited to kind of start using these um, now that I finally have opened them. <laughs> okay, and so the next thing I'm gonna talk about are some beauty products. And the first um, thing are just some lipsticks. and. So in the, in the spring, I tend to go for a much lighter formula than um, in the fall and winter where I kind of wear heavier um, kind of matte formulas and da deeper, darker, and really bright colors on my lips. In the spring, I like to lighten it up and I go for kind of pinky, beigey, nude tones almost every single day. And that's what I'm wearing today. This is actually um, from Chanel. This is Rouge Coco Shine in the color number 54 Boy, um, which looks like this. It's a very pretty kind of pinky, um, nude tone and so love wearing these kind of colors in the spring just to lighten things up a bit and I like the formula of this it's really moisturizing and great if your lips are still a little bit dry from the cooler weather um, so these are great and the other one I have is number 94 in the color confident which is just a little bit deeper still in that um, warm kind of pink family though and a little bit rosier I would say and love this lipstick and everything else in terms of makeup I kind of keep basically the same. I might use a lighter foundation or um, tinted moisturizer or things like that, but I'm pretty much um, kind of boring and basic when it comes to makeup. Um, but then another thing that I love in the spring is switching up my fragrances. And in the fall and winter, I tend to go for kind of heavier, warmer, woodier, spicier scented fragrances. And then as soon as the spring and the warm weather comes, especially the weather we've been having lately has been very humid and um, warm and humid, basically. Um, and so I have been reaching for things that really are fresh and clean and brighter and 
um, more floral or more fruity uh, type of scents. And so the fragrances that I have just been loving the last week or so and will definitely be getting a lot of use out of this spring. First one is from Chanel and this is Gardenia. And this is from the Le Exclusif line. And this is a fragrance that I absolutely love in the spring. It's a beautiful floral, very light um, and very, a little bit sweet, but very, very fragrant and beautiful for springtime. So love wearing this. And then the other one that is pretty new to me is actually from Jo Malone and it's Orange Blossom. And um, I got this in a smaller size because I wasn't sure if I would love it. Um, and I'm also trying to get smaller size perfumes because right now my, por my perfume collection has gotten completely out of control and I actually need to downsize my collection soon. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, kind of, I guess, citrusy floral scent. It smells like orange blossoms. It's really light and refreshing and energizing and just perfect for this time of year. So really getting a lot of use out of that right now. And then talking about fashion. So I just, like I said, went through and kind of organize, reorganized my closet, uh, got rid of a bunch of things that I wasn't wearing and made room for a few new things. And in doing so, um, I've come to realize that for for me, spring is all about basics, things that I can layer and mix and match, and I never know what the weather is going to be like. It may be 80 degrees, it may be 50 degrees, and I have to be able to kind of um, plan accordingly. So some of the things that I absolutely love in the spring, first one is denim, and I'm actually wearing a denim shirt right now just with a um, tank top and some leggings, which you can't really see. but. Um, I, this is a very kind of standard uniform for me during this type of weather where it's kind of warm out. Um, it's a little actually too humid and warm for me today. I'm not loving it, but um, I have the sleeves kind of just rolled up. That's a great thing about these shirts when you can get them with a little button up here to kind of be able to roll the sleeves up when you want to be a little bit cooler. And um, this is just a great kind of simple um, layering kind of look that I tend to wear a lot in the spring. And um, I also like to mix and match a lot of basic tees, whether it's long sleeve or short sleeve. And so I just grabbed this um, t-shirt that I just got from J. Crew. It's a long, actually three quarter length sleeve striped tee. I love stripes in the spring and I feel like I could have worn something like this um, underneath what I'm wearing as well. I think that would have been a cute little outfit, but it's too warm today. Um, and then I just put this little um, necklace from L&M, which is a cute little statement necklace on here. Um, a few other things I really love are espadrilles. Espadrilles are my absolute favorite shoe to wear in the springtime because they're really comfortable and they work with pretty much all of my casual outfits that I wear. And so this is just the pair that I got last spring from Tori Birch and I love these so much. I actually have them in the denim color as well. And just love that these kind of just work with everything. Very basic, very simple, and um, very comfortable. So I think those are kind of um, my themes for the spring. And then a few accessories that I love to wear in the spring. First would be some sunglasses. And the two that are kind of my favorites right now are, first are my Ray-Ban aviators. And I have these in silver and in gold. This is the silver pair. And I just think a great basic pair of aviators is perfect for spring. It's a really light look, a really simple look, a really casual, easy look. Um, so I love those. And then the others that I just got, um, Banana Republic just had their friends and family sale and I've had my eye on these sunglasses for quite a long time. And so I finally got them and they just uh, came out with these new cases. I've never seen these from Banana Republic and I've already smudged mine up. Um, but <laughs> anyway, these are called, I think the name of these is inside. Um, these are called the Johnny's glasses. And so they look like this. They are just a little tortoise shell glasses, a little bit round, but kind of smaller. And I really loved them. I thought they were perfect. Very similar to the ones I just got from J. Crew, but those are a little bit um, bigger on my face. And I just really love tortoise with denim and um, with pretty much everything I wear in the springtime. So tortoise shell sunnies and some type of aviators would be my two go-to looks for sunglasses in the spring. And then another accessory that I cannot be without in the springtime are scarves. So I pulled out my Burberry. Um, this is the wool and silk gauze scarf and I have it in the color stone. 
And this is a great scarf because it is very sheer. It kind of just works with everything. Um, you can wear it kind of double wrapped around if you need to be warmer, like when I wear it under a coat in the mornings when it's cool out. Um, or you can just kind of drape it around you like I'm doing right now um, and just let it hang. And it's just a really simple way to kind of jazz up your outfit a little bit and I love this color and I got the stone scarf before I actually got the item I'm going to show you next to kind of go with it which is my Burberry trench and um, I think a good trench coat Burberry and not Burberry or not Burberry doesn't matter but a good trench coat is definitely um, a spring essential for me and I, it's something I wear to work it's something I wear for casual use and I just absolutely love it and of course the stone scarf matches the coat perfectly so I was really excited to finally have the coat to match the scarf <laughs> And my last fashion item for the spring that I could not be without would be a denim jacket. And I recently picked up this one from Banana Republic during their friends and family sale. And this is by far my favorite denim jacket that I've ever purchased. I've had several of them um, and I actually just consigned the last one I purchased because it just was a little bit too cropped. Um, this one is the perfect length. It is not too long. It is not too short. It is really, really soft. Um, it's just perfect. I was so in love with it and to get it for 50% off was such a great deal. So um, loving this and I think this is still probably available since I just got it this weekend. Um, so you can check it out if you're interested. And then the last um, thing to show you here um, that I couldn't be without in the spring would be some handbags. And my favorite bags to use for the spring are sitting next to me. So the first one is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size in the monogram print. And um, what I love about this bag pretty much is that it's the perfect tote bag. So I would say having a tote bag for me is a spring essential because I tend to carry a lot with me. I'm always taking a jacket or a scarf or both and possibly even a pair of shoes and all of my usual everyday essentials. So this holds a ton of stuff and I have it filled right now or not filled, but I've got my, um, Samorga organizer inside so it keeps its shape quite nicely when I'm not using it and um, Really really enjoy having this tote and I love the monogram print against pretty much all of my spring basic kind of wardrobe and then the bag that I have been using the most and have been using um, actually the last almost two weeks now is my speedy 30 in the monogram print and I love this bag for the same reason. It carries a ton of stuff. It is filled right now because I have been using it. Um, and I just, I just love this bag and it, it is just perfect for spring. I love that it's really light because it is canvas. Um, and I just love the look of the monogram with the Vaquetta leather against um, pretty much most of my spring wardrobe. So love, love, love that bag. And the third bag, there are actually three bags I can't be without in the spring. And the third one would be a pochette of some type. And I have my pochette NM right here, also in the monogram print, because it's my favorite print in the spring. And um, I just love having these for running errands, for going on in the evenings, all of that kind of thing. I just think it's a great little handy bag to have. I typically wear mine most often just as a small shoulder bag like so. And um, I just find it to be a really helpful little handy bag to have and you can throw it inside your larger bag when you know you want to just have something to grab and go like to go out to lunch or things like that when you're at work and it's just a great bag. So that is it for all of my spring essentials. I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any spring essentials you would like to share, I would love to see them or to hear about them. So please leave that in the comments below. And if you do a video, please let me know. And um, yeah, I will see you all soon in my next video and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.